following your truth, following your heart, right? That voice inside of you that tells you, I wish I could just do this. It's just that if I did this, everyone would judge me. I wouldn't be accepted anymore, right? Following that truth is one of the scariest things you'll ever do. But it's also the most empowering thing you'll ever do. It really is. You will never arrive at that destination if you don't cross that bridge. And that's just a fact. So if you want to play small the rest of your life, if you want to appease others in your life, you're basically placing what they want for you over what you want for yourself. You're disabling yourself from going on a self-discovery journey. Don't you want to uncover who you are? Honestly, don't you want to know who you are? You can have an idea of who you are, but you won't really experience it until you're willing to cross that bridge. And the really cool thing about following your truth is not only is it freeing, but once you cross it, that's when all the aha moments start to happen. You go, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And there is no part of you that wants to turn back. No part of you. It's a point of no return. So I encourage you to follow your truth. It's very scary, you know? It might mean that you lose friends. It might mean that you have to turn away from family members. It might mean all of these things, but it's you taking care of your heart. You defining what love is to you. You defining what it means to live a healthy life, all right? And, and anytime you follow that, of course, it's gonna piss a lot of people off. You're not doing it to piss them off. You're not. You're doing it because you have a duty to discover who you are. So I know it's scary, but just remember, you will not achieve your highest potential in this life if you're busy serving people. You've got to serve something bigger. God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, you got to serve that. You, you got to figure out who you are. Because if you're not following your truth, you're following someone else's truth. You're following someone else's want for you. So you're not actually creating anything. If you want to create your own life, you got to get in the driver's seat and go. And people are welcome to come. There's more seats in the car. But a lot of people are going to judge you if you start setting boundaries, right? If you do things, if you only do things that are in line with your integrity, integrity is major. You're going to get to a place where you can't associate to anything that lacks integrity because it doesn't represent who you know you are and who you know you can become. But sometimes you have to become it first, right? You have to at least cross that bridge. And once you have those aha moments, you go, oh my God, I can't believe I didn't do this sooner. But it's okay, because everything happens in perfect time. But now I'm committed to this because I have the rest of my life to figure out who I am, who I am. Yeah, you probably don't even know who you are. Something probably happened on day one that you were born where you were crying and your mom tried to shut you up. That's trauma, right? So you don't even know who you are. And we're not here to blame your mom, your dad. Everyone's doing the best that they can. This is about loving yourself. When you love yourself, you love others. They may not feel it right now because they're in their ego, but you really are serving the bigger picture. They'll eventually see it. They'll eventually see it. I'm telling you, we have to redefine what love is. Love is you following your heart at all costs. Yeah, you have to follow your heart. You owe it to yourself to find out who you are. This is why you're here. So in your mind, you might tell yourself, oh, but it would never work, but it would never work. But you haven't crossed that bridge yet. That's why it's called life experience, okay? You have to accumulate life experience by taking action towards your truest, most authentic self. And remember, you're not doing it to hurt people. You're doing it to take care of yourself. You're like a scientist who wants to make discoveries about yourself. This is what you're doing. I love you.